Whether you are creating a mobile app or a web app using Adolo, you will more than likely have multiple screens linking to different views and information. In Adolo, a screen has components such as buttons or list. When you click on a button, you want an action to happen. Whether that's updating information, adding information, deleting information, or just going to a new screen. In Adalo, this is called a link action. Currently, we have one home screen after people have logged in or signed up. We also have two buttons on our welcome screen. If we click on each button, you can see that there's no action for either of these. To add an action, click add action on that component, and then you have options to link to a new screen. You can link to the last screen someone was on. And then we have our home login, sign up, sign up to page, and then an option to link to a website. With the website link action, you can create links that start emails, phone calls, or text messages in addition to linking to another website. In the URL box to link to a telephone number, you would do tell colon and then a phone number. And then when users clicked on this button, it would open their device's phone app with a number pre-dialed. If you wanted to do an email address, you would do mail to colon, and you could enter in an email address, or you could use this magic text button, and you could pull in an email from the database collection for users. When someone clicked on this button, it would open up the email app with an address pre-filled. Lastly, if you wanted to trigger a text message, you would do SMS colon, followed by the phone number. When a user clicks on this, it would open the user's default texting app with a number pre-filled. If you wanted to use a button to manage information, you would click add action, and then you could create, update, or delete information. For this example, when people click on adoptable dogs, we want to link to a new screen. This screen is going to have a list of dogs that are adoptable. And I'm going to go over to that screen and rename it. And now I want to link this foster dogs button to a foster dogs specific screen. So we'll name our screen and make this a custom list screen as well and click done. And you'll notice here that you have a few different transition options, the most common being the push. But you can also have a transition from the left or right of your screen or up and down. And if you want to see what that looks like, you can always preview and play around with those transitions. Now that we have our two screens set up, I am going to change the color of our app bar and I'm going to go to title and change the title to adopt dog. I'm going to do the same thing over here and I'm going to get rid of these action buttons. And I'm going to change these green buttons to be black buttons. So now that I have my two pages set up from my welcome screen, I want to customize these lists. In the next video, I will show you how you can customize list components in Adalo. I'll see you there. <laughs>